What's going on guys? Welcome back to part 3 of our modern Minecraft series, Explore Tech. And today I want to get into some tinkers. Making, I want to make this sword called a steel cleaver. Because it does a bunch of damage. It, attack speed is pretty slow, but I think it would be interesting to mess around with. So, I've been exploring and looking around. Alright, um, to get steel we need to get in a dungeon smelter. Which requires an invar gear, two copper gears, a redstone reception coil, and a machine frame, and two pieces of sand. To get the copper gears, we are going to need a stone gear, which this is the easiest recipe. We're going to need a stone gear and some copper, so let's grab some copper. Um, let's make our two stone gears. There we go. And then our two copper gears. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty simple recipe. Two redstone. Do I not have any? Thought I had some. Now I have some. Oops. Let's put this in here. Let's go check our downstairs. Oh, yeah, I got a cow because milk is needed. It's needed for, um,. Oh, it's fossils in archaeology. It's going to be needed to get this stuff called, um, what is it called? It's like some goop. Bio goo. And see, I put, so what you do is you take, this is my second egg now. I'm doing a little off camera. See, so let's do our, let's do our sturgeon. So you take your your DNA, you put it in, and you got to get this bio goo, which is made from any type of egg, wheat, rotten flesh, and milk. And milk you can get from any other thing, milk or whatever the animal is that gives you milk, like sheep, goat. And you just put in a crafting uh, table and you get normal milk. And with milk, you combine these and you get this bio goo and if your if your culture vat explodes and turns into a failure saurus then mm. once you kill it you get this flush and that gives you four bio goo back it's pretty annoying i've already had it been destroyed twice no. all right let's see redstone no. uh, I don't think I have any. Let's go check the mine. If you look down a certain way while going down on ladders, you get down pretty fast. I should torch this up better. Let's go down. I think it's torched up a little bit down over here. Should have been a little more prepared. Let's grab this amethyst. Nothing's over here. Stuff over here though. Hold on, I'm turning up my monitor brightness because I forgot to grab torches. You guys won't be able to see that well, but I can see fine. Oh, so... oh nothing over here. Let's grab this coal. Man, I hate water. I'm swimming in. Um. Hopefully we can find some redstone pretty easy. Normally it's pretty common. Copper. It's down here. This is definitely really dark for you guys. Um, why 20? Um, I'll cut back. Um, whenever I get to the whenever I find redstone, so I'll be back. All right, welcome back, guys. I just uh, got back from my mining trip. Um, my pick broke. Uh, I got a little bit of redstone though. Enough to hold me over for a while. Let's mm. deposit all of this. I have the fossils I grabbed and put them inside of an analyzer. <laughs> Alright, so now can, let's continue on with our induction smelter. So we got our copper gears. Okay, we need to get that redstone thingy. We need gold. I'm gonna have to go mining again later for more gold, I just realized. 
Uh, I could just use these ingots. that um so now we need the machine frame which requires a tin gear okay that's easier to make one two three four all right oh yeah i got this inventory upgrade uh cake i found while exploring a village I was exploring and I found a village somewhere off yonder. No. It was somewhere around here. But I found a village, I don't remember which direction I went in. No. But I found a village and got this cake right here, inventory upgrade. I found it in a chest and it allows you to upgrade your inventory. And then I found that there too. I took these from the pet shop. And the rest of the stuff I collected as well. So yeah. yeah. So basically I have like a chest worth of inventory space as well. <laughs> Alright, so our machine frame. So we're going to need four pieces of glass. Four pieces. And I already have iron on me. So one, two. Hopefully different chiseled glass would work. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Mm. Alright, so we got our machine frame. So now, kind of want to... So I can hold the contents within. Um, mm. Induction is going to require invar. So an invar thingy. I don't need these. An invar O. Oh. Okay, so that one's gonna, uh, let's see how we get in bar. I think it's, if I remember correctly, it's copper and something else. Induction, in bar. Oops, let's go back one. Gosh, run it. Alright. Casting, molten in bar, alloying, iron and nickel. So we're gonna have to get our nickel. Hopefully we have at least a couple pieces. No. Hmm. Nickel. I don't think we have any. <sighs> that sucks. Sadly, no nickel. So I'm going to have to go mining again. This time I'm going to make some torches. So let's grab some of these. That's a lot of torches. Um, I already have a little bit of wood on me. Oh my gosh. Alright, there we go. Um, let's make ourselves some sticks and some torches. <clears throat> like I mentioned in, uh, I think episode one or two, tiny torches are the way to go. Can't go mining without a pick. Copper is basically the same as iron, so we'll make copper since we have a lot more. Another reason why I want to get steel, to make a steel pick, that would be slightly faster. Actually, no, the pick I want to make is different. First, we need to find diamonds or get get obsidian and I bet there's an easier way than actually mining obsidian to get obsidian so yeah let's see what did I come down here for again what the heck oh yeah nickel so let's see what level is nickel found on I like nickel just click on nickel Minimum Y5, max Y68, so let's, let's mine on Y60. So let's go up again a little bit. Should I mine right on this level right here? So let's go off in this direction. I'm 
gonna change my vein one as well. So, oh, so that goes down. Hmm. This one is the strip mine one, so we'll do this right here. There we go. Alright, so I'll be back whenever I have the... Oh, wait, is this nickel? No. Alright, so I'll be back whenever I find the nickel. Alright, I'm back. I just got back with the nickel. I ended up having to make another pick with the iron I had on me down there. But I got the nickel. Oh, wait, I should. I got this from the village, this crusher. Hopefully, if I put nickel in there, it should crush it into two pieces of dust. Yeah, pulverized. And so you smelt the pulverized, and it basically doubles your ore output. So definitely, definitely worth it. So, get more nickel. So it's mm -hmm. one nickel and a couple pieces of iron, I think. I remember, so let's see. I already have iron in here, so let's just... Put the nickel in. I think I'm gonna start crushing all my ores. I don't know, can you crush uranium? Oh, you can. That actually gives me something to do with it. Uranium grit. Let's put all of it in there. This cobblestone, you guys are gonna see what it's used for later. Or actually soon. Um, Later in this episode, I want to make a dinosaur cage oh so we got some sir john eggs so thankfully it didn't bust let's put that up and that up all right so our next one we can do is i'll do this one this one's pretty nice small seems small oh yeah i got some fossils while i was down there let's get those out Let's go to sleep if we can, not yet. Got uranium grit. Which turns into uranium, refined uranium, or uranium. Which is used for making uranium block. Nuclear fuel. That's cool. Anything else useful? <clears throat> no. That's right, uranium ain't. Isn't that good? Some more nickel. So let's sleep and check our. No, oh yeah. I was uh, using my excavate and I figured out whenever you hit V, you can change the shape of what you excavate at. So, cycled that a couple times. Okay, so we got three, P three ingots. So, in, in order to get an ingot cast, we're going to need to get some gold. So, where's our gold at? We don't have much. I'm going to try and double it. This is actually very useful because we're going to have to get some more gold later. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the sword this episode. Actually, here, I'll focus. I'll focus on the sword this episode because I don't want to make it too long. I want to keep this one shorter than the rest. Um, so I'll focus on that and I'll make our dinosaur cage next episode. So we got our gold dust, so let's smelt this. Oh no, we don't want, or we don't need to smelt it, is what I'm trying to say. Well, let's spit it out. So there's our gold dust. Gold dust? Gold dust. Alright, so there's our gold dust. Um, Let's pop an ingot right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gold, and then you pour gold and and onto the ingot. It makes an ingot cast, and we're gonna need that for our invar. We're gonna need one more piece of invar, which means we need one more piece of nickel. So I, I mean, we need to put one more piece of nickel in there. We get one. Oh, yeah, we have one piece left. <laughs> Think. You can do it. Alright, so there's three pieces. I guess let's get the crafting table ready. 
So uh, we'll get this here. Put this in there. Put our copper gears in place. Get our sand. And then come back out here. Get our invar and swap that just so we can get that last piece. And we'll move it from that. There we go. Our invar gear. All right, now we got our induction smelter. Now this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna pop it up there for now because we got our energy going. Turn that off. Disabled, okay, okay. I don't really wanna output to anything. We can. All right, so to get steel, we're gonna need some crushed coal. So let's just crush up some of that. And grab our iron. One piece of iron in there. Grab some of this crushed coal. Oh, it only gives you one piece. Pretty sure it goes in this some way. Please tell me I don't have to get an augmentation for this. Invar. Versus steel. I should swap it a little further back. <clears throat> you put it in here somewhere. I think you might need four pieces of crushed coal. I think that's a. Yeah, four pieces. So this is gonna require a lot of steel then. I might choose a different type of sword. <laughs> That one's pretty expensive, but there we go. Now we got steel. We could probably just make a. No, I don't want to make a steel pick. I wanted to make this special type of pick. Man, this is gonna get expensive. Well, it already is expensive, actually. We got our steel, but this thing is not cheap, so it's gonna. Quite, quite a bit of steel, so I'm probably gonna have to crush some more coal down a lot more. Cool down. So we got four pieces of steel so far. Guess what? That's going. We can go out here, go to our tinkers, which we have not messed with yet. So for the steel cleaver, let's see. Oh my, I'm gonna have to get an upgraded tool station, aren't I? Let's just make, let's let's just start off with a steel uh road sword, rod sword. So we're gonna need this. Okay, so gonna need the guard, the stick, and the blade. All right, so with these, oops, let's put our ink cast in our ink pattern chest. So with our new patterns, so what we're gonna have to do is, oh, actually I actually already have it on me. So let's let's go into our part builder, and you put our part in here, and grab some stone. Uh, three stone. How many does it need? There we go. So we got our stone blade. Leave our stone in there. Um, our rod and our guard. So now we got that. So these can go into. Oh, uh, you have to cast them first. We'll get, we'll put these in a chest. Probably have to make a new chest to be honest. Just grab that and that. Let's put the chest right here for now. So we'll put our patterns in there. All right. So now, what you do is you take your blade or whatever tool you're trying to do, um, do this with, and take your gold. Which we're gonna have to go mine some more gold. 
We'll just wait a minute. And so now we're making a, a blade cast. Do we have any more gold? There's a lot of rose gold. Not as much normal gold. I've realized. Put a couple more pieces of iron in there. I think I might actually be able to make the... Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, we have to upgrade our tool station. This episode, I will make... <clears throat> actually, you know what? Let's, let's go for it. Let's go for the upgraded one. So, kind of what we just did there was useless to make these, but it's fine. Um, so, you, you grab your tool station. I don't know if we're going to need it. Let's see tool station we need to upgrade to one tool forge that's what it's called so four four blocks of whatever so we'll use copper because we have a crap ton of it one two three four so here's four blocks four blocks of copper and Three seared stone and our tool for it. So, our seared brick. Do we have any of that? Okay, it's not that hard to get. All you gotta, what you gotta do is just put four pieces. Uh, we'll go with the eight. Go with a couple blocks. So, let's get our gold while we're at it. So, here's our gold. Ooh. Never mind. We can't pour our gold yet. I, actually, while we're waiting, I'll get our ingot cast out. Put our ingot cast here. Get the rest of this invar out. We're waiting on this. I got this uh, waystone from one of the villages I was at. Which I realized if you... On your guys' world, this would be handy for you guys. You do slash... Slash set home. Ah. Slash set home. And it sets your home. And then to travel back to your home uh, waypoint. Slash home. And it teleports you home. It's pretty, it's pretty handy. Um, oh yeah, this is a milk dryer. I should have probably said that earlier. Um, it's pretty simple to make. It's right here. This is a milk jar. And so that's what I've been using to store some milk for this. Oh, that's finished. Now that I'm recording, it doesn't want to break on me. But this thing broke two more times off camera. Oh, Tyrannosaurus. That's going to be fun to mess around with. Oops. So let's go check up on the stone. Should be done. Get back in there. So our seared stone. So we have two blocks. We're gonna actually need three, which kind of sucks. Let's load up some more cobble, I guess. Four more pieces. Get this out. Oh, I'm actually gonna need more than that. No, not, no, not. Seared stone will work. Hopefully. Let's see. Seared bricks. To get the bricks. No. Seared. Oh, maybe we gotta. Okay, let's do this a different way then. Oh, seared paver, and then that makes the bricks. Okay, never mind. So, no, we're fine. Okay, that's good, that's good. Then we're gonna have to put it back into the smeltery. Oh, that's done. Oh, I'm gonna have to change that around real fast. Seared stone. Let's pour it out. Our last piece. Oops. 
Hopefully I didn't just mess that up. Let me... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oops. Is it in there? Dang, that sucks. <laughs> Oops. So now I'm going to have to smelt another piece of stone. What are you doing? Get back in there. Got to keep you inside for that milk. Alright, let's see. So we got a couple more pieces. So we got, okay, this, this amount of steel will work. go get our last piece here we go oops put that in there and then that in there all right so now we got our upgraded tool forge tool station upgraded into the tool tool forge so now we can actually make the good stuff these shurikens i think i'm gonna make as well later on the cleavers attack very slow, but they do high damage. And I've only used them once, so I kind of want to mess around with them. This does 7 damage, so it's a little bit of an upgrade. So we're going to need the heavy stuff. I'm going to make some more stencils. Let's grab this wood. In order to make stencils, you need sticks. And wood. Or... Not stencils, but plank patterns. So we're going to need the large sword blade and the tough tool rod. And we need two of these. Whew, that is expensive. And then we're also going to need the plating. The large plate pattern. Holy. This is going to be expensive. Very expensive. Hopefully it doesn't require a lot of gold to cast. Let's see. Let's put our sword. Maybe since it's larger, it won't take as much gold. I'm hoping. Yeah, it just takes two pieces like normal. So we got our large sword blade. It's going to take a lot of steel, though. Let's put some of this stuff up that I don't need. Uh, if I end up having to, I think I'm just gonna try and get as much steel as possible. I'll be back whenever I got a, whenever I get a couple more pieces. Welcome back, guys. So I just got back from my mining ship. As you guys can see, it's nighttime. Let me go to bed real fast. I gathered up some gold. <laughs> I gather up some gold for our smell tree. Oops, we want that there. So, put some gold on this. It's also, so I think everything t requires two gold. We've got our steel here. I, I, I was talking to one of my friends um, about Tinkers, and he said Night Slime is very good to get because it's obsidian mining, uh, obsidian mining level. But it's not that hard to get night slime ingots. It's just seared stone, which is cobblestone in the smell tree. Then uh, purple slime, which you get from the purple slime island, and iron. And that's very simple to get. And it's basically diamond, same as the diamond pickaxe. So I'm, uh, I'm going to try and get that. I'm probably going to do that off camera. Get my pick off camera. There's the slime islands around. I think they're around. Not around me. Alright, so we got all of our cast. 
Where is it at? Right here. So we have all of our cast, and it requires one sword, two rods. So we'll start off with the blade. Let's put some of the steel in here. One in and get a molten invar. So I kind of wanna want to get that out of there. Two ingots of iron. So we'll do that next. I want to get the rest of the stuff that's in here out. Oh. So it doesn't mix. Okay, good. One more ingot of iron. And then we have five oh. pieces of gold. Gold, I think, can stay in there. Um, seared stone, 24. But I'll pour that out, but it won't be able to make anything. Seared stone, poured it out. Oh, I just realized I don't have a pickaxe to mine that. Oh. Oh. Let's not waste any materials. Be crazy here. All right, there we go. Get rid of that. So we have a bunch of steel in here. A bunch. So let's place our our sword blade. Make sure steel is just selected. Let's pour it in. Ooh, that's a bunch. About, I think, there's 11 ingots. Or 8 ingots, I think is what it said. In the thing. Let's see how much is left. We got a block and one, so. Yeah, it was eight ingots. I think we might have enough, hopefully. So here's our blade. Let's do our rods. The rods, okay, the rods only require like three. So let's put our blade up and our ingot, because we don't need any of those. Let's make another rod. Let's see, how much do we have left? Seven ingots. He got to rig me. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have one left. Oh, my gosh. We made just the right amount of steel in order to do this. Because the large plate also requires um, eight. Man, that that's luck. So it holds its inventory. That's good. I'm missing this last piece. That that's pretty lucky. That's pretty good. So we're gonna get our new sword. So let's put our ender ender one up. Put it put it in this this one. So I decided this this chest went from being an ore chest to an anything chest. I got another one right there. I'm gonna have to sort my stuff later on though. The last and get just enough. Fully gone. The plating, I guess, takes a little longer. And I want to get the night slime pick, and then um and then the other one I was wanting to get after that which requires obsidian to get I forgot what it was called I don't know I'll find it I'll find it later for now let's get our plate and make our new sword so now we got our plate and back to its crafting Let's go, our still cleaver. Its attack speed is super slow, as you saw. Like, look at this. But its damage output is very, very high. What does this thing look like? Um, it looks pretty big. I wish I could go change my change my view mode. Uh, down. Nope, not that either. Controls. F7 for dry. Oh, that's for dragon. Oops. 
be set. Um, toggle perspective tab. Um, put that back on F5. That doesn't work either. Uh, end. Right, we'll just put it on end. <laughs> this thing is huge. All right. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna end it here. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out.